I, I, in my life, I played Long John Silver for Disney in a Disney series called Return to Treasure Island. I'd always wanted to play Long John, so, and I played it after this. And I, 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 I raced to the studio to be in Henry V with Ken Branagh playing the Iron Duke, Exeter, the power behind the throne. But I never have I known such artistic happiness and freedom. I felt completely alone to myself. I could do what I was. I had a kingdom. I was playing this extravagant character, this huge, larger than life character, though you can't be larger than life. I ran to the studio. I, I was. I have never had such enjoyment to be blessed with such a great part, in which I think is a terrific film. Flash Gordon's a great film for the simple reason that. I don't see it as camp. It's comic strip. And the wonderful sets, the beatific music. I, I think, you know, that Queen's music is sensational. The romantic music when Flash and Dale are together in that rocket when they're unconscious, to that beautiful strings and the is incredibly romantic. And the theme appears again when he's about to be gassed. The, the tableaus in the film where he's going to be gassed you know, at that time you had Star Wars and black skies. It was the first time you saw coloured skies. They did all these new inventions. So in that scene where Flash is going to be executed, the sky is green and purple and vermilion and all. It's beautiful. That scene, the tableau, the sets and designs, was com and completely comic strip. I based my part on the comic strip part. Zoom, bang, wallop, whack, and so forth. And a man of immense, Voltan's a man of immense bravery and care and so forth. And so I ran to the studios.